I really love DFAM Remember, but there are some prompts that really stress me out. <laughs> and one of those prompts is today's prompt, which is friendship bracelet. <laughs> Welcome to DFAM Remember 2023. This is Luisa Heinzel. And I think today we have a little problem because look what Effie has done. I got so stressed about this prompt that he has hidden here in this little scrap bowl. Effie, please, you have to help me with this. I mean, DFAM Remember is so much fun. But this prompt, friendship bracelet, I can't even say it anymore, <laughs> really stresses me out. You, you want to know why? Well, that's just because I have too many ideas in my head. And that is something that is really, really stressful. I have my journal here. I want to create something on a page and that should be a friendship bracelet somehow. How to include a friendship bracelet into a junk journal? I mean, a friendship bracelet is something that you normally wear on your hand or your, your wrist. But how to do that? And the next thing is, Barbara has sent this to me, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, who's hosting Defam Remember together with me. And she has sent this to me as a little present. And I want to include this because Effie is our crafty friend and he's a friend for all of us during DFAM Remba and hopefully during the rest of the year as well. But how to include this into a friendship bracelet when I need two videos, a German one and an English one? Ooh, Barbara. <laughs> I'm, of course, I'm really happy about this present, but this took me so long to figure out how to include this here and do something that makes sense and is nice in the German video as well. So if you want to see a variation of today's idea, then please check out my German video because that is different to what I am going to do in this English video. And if you want to see a variation and if you, especially if you don't have something like this, then the other video could be helpful for you as well. Even if you don't understand what I'm talking there, probably. Um, you can easily follow that because I will explain what I'm doing in this video, of course, as well. And when you then watch the other video, then you can easily follow what I have done there. Um, so I want to take this page and I want to turn it around and do something with this ugly white backside. I want to make a background first where I then later on can put my friendship bracelet on. I want to turn my friendship bracelet into a belly band today where I can put something behind that's going to be a journaling card. Everything that I'm doing here in this video for this idea with the bracelet you could do without having a page as well. You could make your bracelet wearable in the end. The same with these little earrings that we've made the other day. Ooh. And they want to do really crazy things here. So these earrings we've made for the prompt mushroom robots. You could um, do them a little bit differently and then you could wear them Yeah, just by making these pieces a little bit more sturdy, putting an earring piece here on top. I mean, you don't want to put a bread through your ear. So this is just a bread because I've made these for my journal, but you could do these in a way that you can wear them and the same for the bracelet I want to do here today. But I thought I want to mm, do things that um, are, mm, you know, ha, how can I explain that? Let's me, let me first explain what this is. This is old paper distress oxide spray. That's easier to explain than the other thing. Um, I mean, we often have like unusual things in our junk journals. We use everything that we can find and sometimes that are things that are not expected in a journal and for me earrings as well as a friendship bracelet is something where you probably would not think about at first glance and that's why I want to have my bracelet included into my journal the same with the earrings for example um, on the earring page, the packaging of the earrings is a little pocket so that it makes sense for the journal, yeah, so that you have something to store in this little 
uh, no, that you have something where you can store, uh, for example, a little paper oil tag or something like that. And I want to have my bracelet also have a function for my journal. That is the main idea behind that. This stencil comes from PM Artist Studio. I am going to show you their information here, but I also have all of their links down below in the description box. Um, and they also gave us a little promo code. So if you want to save some money, then um, check out the promo code in the description box of this video. And they have really, really gorgeous designs. And then let's go on. But before we go on, I have to I have to do something. I have to tell you something. I just made myself a coffee um, because I was so stressed. And now you think, yeah, what what is the problem? She always makes coffee when she's stressed or when she's not stressed. <laughs> she drinks coffee all the time. But this is just so incredible, not only because this is the most amazing coffee I have ever had in my life, P.S., here in Austria. I'm not talking about Italian coffee or coffee in Rome, yeah, don't get me wrong. When I travel to Rome and I drink my coffee there, then it's like being in heaven for me, coffee-wise and for some other reasons. But this is the most amazing thing that I ever had here. And do you know, oh, do you know what that is? That is this. And I don't get uh, anything for saying this. Yeah, I say that because this is my opinion and I'm so, so happy. But buy this coffee if you don't know this. <laughs> this is Bones Coffee. And this is called French Toast. And it smells and tastes so, so delicious. And why do I have this and why am I showing you this? Because this is another example for how awesome and amazing and just outstanding this community is. And I'm so, so happy and I will be forever grateful that I'm allowed to be part of this community. Because this was sent to me by one of my lovely viewers. She has seen my five item swap with Juliana Michaels. I will link that video down below for you. And Juliana had sent a sticker to me for the five items challenge. And that was showing this, what's here on the package here. And then she came to the idea to send some different packages of this Bones coffee to me because I said that it is not available here and that I have never seen it before. And she even sent a cup which says Bone coffee, Bones coffee. And that is just so amazing. And the cup has... Oh, I have to show it to you. <laughs> Here, I'm back. Look at this gorgeous cup. <laughs> Isn't this just crazy? When I, when I had this in my hands, I was like, oh my goodness, what is this? And when I had it, I... You know, I, I haven't had the Bones coffee itself yet. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is so crazy to have. And what do I have to do with Bones coffee? Nothing. Yeah, it's coffee. But this is just so special because it comes from the love of this community. And oh, I want to cry because it's just so, so heartwarming and it's just so special. So I thought I want to take a few minutes to talk about that because that is a symbol for what I feel for everyone out there. You all are so appreciated and your support and your thoughts. I mean, you have to think about this. You have to go to a shop to buy this. This is just so amazing. And then you spend so much shipping costs to send those things to me. And that is just so amazing. And with all of your happy mails and all of your stuff that you send to me, I'm just so blessed. It's it's amazing. I... I oh. And look at this package. Look at this package. I mean, we have to do with this, uh, something with this one day as well. But yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. And this is just so delicious. Mm. Oh, and do you know what? Do you know what I want to do? Oh my goodness, that just comes to my mind. I need a paintbrush. I need a paintbrush and I need something... I need something. I mean, I can't put my paintbrush into the cup. <laughs> Let's put, oh my goodness, this is, 
this is not wasted this is going to become art I'm going to put something here and then I'm going to take this and put that to my page because this is just so special and having this here makes this even more special and it's like splattering your love to this page and not only the love of this one person but the love of each and everyone out there because it's it's just it's it's just so amazing so then I thought um, what could I use to make like a base for my friendship bracelet and probably you have seen me wearing both of these additionally to this very often so this is what I normally have on my wrist here every day 24 7 and I came to the idea oh and the reason why I only have this during the Femoremba is because I want to show my love to Barbara at 49 Dragonflies as well so I wanted to have this on my arm and not these because the Femoremba is just also yeah a picture for our friendship and I have the feeling that that is like um, coming to you through our videos as well and so I wanted to have this um, here on my arm instead of having all of the three so that this stands out more do you know what I mean <laughs> but then I thought why don't I use something like this like this measuring tape so both of these and also this come from the Tim Holtz assemblage line I hope that I say that word right and I thought do I have perhaps something that is similar to this and then I found this and I thought why don't I use this as a base so let's do that now I have to be careful that I don't smear my splatters there because I want to cut off this so that it is the same length as my page so that I later on can have my belly band from the top to the bottom of the page and then I want to take this and cut another strip in the same length I have this piece of an old pillowcase this is from my grandma this pillowcase and the friendship between my grandma and myself was very special as well perhaps you know that and I want to have a material from her in my friendship bracelet as well so I'm going to take this and I know that this is really easy to tear look really fragile but you know sturdy at the same time so I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I sew along here so that I can attach these measuring things here to the fabric and then I will tear off the rest because I want to have these fibers here peeking out this is going to be part of my journal later but of course you could take this and make something I'm sorry I just have to put it on here and I have to press it against my body <laughs> so that I can hold it you could of course do it like this and then you can wear it later and with all of the other pieces if you choose them cleverly then you could wear your bracelet in the end as well yeah so you can still decide if you want to put it into your journal or have it as a wearable thing and then I thought Effie come here Effie number two come here <laughs> then I thought what else could I put to this bracelet to show friendship Effie is of course one of the things uh, he's not a thing he's an Effie <laughs> But you know what I mean. This Effie charm is one of the things that shows friendship between Barbara, myself and all of you out there. And what is that? In my head, this kind of friendship where the friends are spread all, all over the world, it's like a puzzle. So I want to add some puzzle pieces to my bracelet here. So I have these, they are just from an old puzzle I bought on a flea market and I thought if we choose these, which have this like round thing on the top and the bottom, I mean you could take these as well, but I don't like that so much. Um, this is like too irregular for me, <laughs> but if we choose these, we could put them in a row like this 
if I put them into a row like this, you might think that is weird for the picture she is trying to build here. Because when I think about friendship, then friends are close together and they are like clicked, clicked into each other. I don't know, this is probably not the right piece, but you know what I mean. A friendship in your head would be probably something like this, where the pieces, the friends, one friend, the second friend, are connected with each other and the puzzle builds a picture and the picture is the friendship. That would be like the most obvious thing. But with our friendship that we have, it's different because of the distance that we all have. We are not like this we are not this close to each other but we are on the same thing do you know what i mean i want to symbolize the distance between us because some of my friends are living overseas even barbara who lives in vienna is like hours away from me there's so much distance between us but we can be friends anyway because we are on the same thing and Effie is somehow connecting us. So he's connecting these pieces. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that is so so hard to explain. So um, I want to do something with these puzzle pieces because they are relatively thick. And I don't want to add unnecessary bulk to my journal. So I'm going to take my fingernail tool and I will peel off approximately the half of the layers which are on such a puzzle piece so that they get thinner on the one hand and really textured on the other hand. Can you see that this is now really like fluffy textured? That's because I tear off these fibers from the layers below and that makes them so textured. And the good thing about that is that I then, in a second, have a, re a really easy job to emboss these and at the same time have them textured without any effort. Now, I want to emboss these with golden embossing powder, but first I want to paint them in a darker color, which I just can't find. Oh, it's behind my Bones coffee pocket. I want to paint them with acrylic paint. I'm going to use ground espresso distress paint for doing that. And why am I doing that? Easy reason. Because the surface of these puzzle pieces is relatively rough because of this fluffy cardboard material. And if I emboss these and I have perhaps some areas which don't get embossing powder, then I would see this gray color through the not embossed areas and even if that would be only <clears throat> tiny areas that would really bother me and the other good thing is I can now save some time and also some embossing ink because this is wet and I can just take my puzzle pieces and some tweezers and use the stickiness of the wet paint to stick my embossing powder here and you can see it's totally covered because the paint is relatively wet but I know from the other video when I now emboss these that it can happen that the embossing powder um, shrinks a little bit and then we have some of those brown areas shown and that is good because I want to have this whole thing relatively grungy now we have the most amazing texture this looks nearly like wrapped in gold foil. I want to add a little bit more patina to these pieces. And for that, I want to use some crayons. I'm going to use tumbled glass and ooh, peacock feathers and also ground espresso. I'm going to start with the lightest color. And if you want to know more details about how I'm doing this with the patina then please watch my video for 
the earrings where uh, with uh, for the ooh, for the prompt mushroom robots there i'm explaining the thing with the patina way more in detail than here but it's exactly the same thing and perhaps you think i don't have puzzle pieces i don't have a measuring tape thingy i don't have the things Louisa has in her video but I want to make something similar then I have a little surprise for you because I made another freebie for you oh <laughs> and as you can see I'm so sorry I've just grabbed it without noticing that I've cu already cut something off here for the other video but I will show you a picture of the freebie here so he's he was a little effy so I have made this for you so that you have some puzzle pieces, that you have this measuring tape, some additional things that you can add if you want. I will not use these circles here, but I thought it could be a great thing to have some things to add them additionally. I will do that later as well with some metal pieces. So I thought about something that you could use if you don't have all of the things that I have here. And I also have this earth here for making a journaling card for example or using that for um, a background collage behind the belly band because i thought you know the earth it's it's obvious isn't it why i have chosen a picture of the earth i wanted to have this like feeling that we all are together even if we are in different places on this earth so if we look at this now we see two things the first thing is that the puzzle pieces are relatively matchy matchy with this here. I want to change that. I want to take a piece of collage fodder, then some walnut stain, spray stain, some water. And as you can see, yeah, that should work. So I will quickly dry this. Yeah. Look. When he's on something white, then he stands out better because this material is a little translucent. And when he's here, the brown comes through this uh, translucent material. So I'm thinking it should be possible to take some white paint and paint the backside. Hanging, but ooh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for this noise. Oh my goodness. Effie, don't make those noises. We can imagine that he is here, can't we? And I want to add some additional things to my bracelet. And I found some little stars in my stash. These. I also got them in a happy mail a relatively long time ago. They have these little legs here so that they work like breads. And I thought we could perhaps put some of these here. And I also want to sew on my puzzle pieces here with my sewing machine. So here we go. Worked perfectly fine. So now I want to attach these stars here. Oh, this looks so cool. And then I want to make this bracelet a little more, you know, it shall look a little bit more cool. And <laughs> not so, like, yeah, you know, I have a problem with being cool. <laughs> Is there a need to be cool? I don't know, but I want to have this a little bit stylish. So let's see, I want to add some golden eyelets just for decoration in this moment but as a possibility to hang some charms to this bracelet later if I perhaps make some additional things for my journal like tiny, you know, dingly dangly things <laughs> and I could use these holes with the eyelets for hanging those this color could work and that is like not the tiniest bread i have but <laughs> the head of the bread is not too big i would say <sighs> hmm. 
<laughs> let's take a smaller one and let's see how a smaller one would look. This is probably not the right color, but I think the size is way better. Okay, so then I have the feeling that I want to attach a key here. I want to put this here, but I want to put something to the background here. And speaking about friendship and friends who are not in the same place, we uh, I have this um, picture of the earth in front of my inner eye. That's also why I made this little picture of the earth on the printable and uh, from Barbara's scraps I have this and I want to place this behind here somehow because this totally reminds me of the colors of the earth and then I want to attach my belly band here with two clamps I don't know the English word for these I even don't know the German word <laughs> but these are meant yeah, for bracelets or other things, you can um, put something in here and then press this together. And with these little teeth, it holds the material you've chosen to put in here. So I thought I want to first sew down the belly band on the top and the bottom just to make my life easier. And then use these as decorative elements. And I want to clamp them, them on here. So, I mean here and on the bottom. And then later on it looks like the bracelet is open and laying on the page. And with these it gives this illusion that it's a bracelet. And with these we also get another possibility to later on add some dangles or something like that. Because they have these little holes here. Where you could fiddle something through. When Barbara had sent this little Effie to me, <laughs> he always gets jealous when another Effie is somewhere else. <laughs> she had wrapped him into this paper here and there was this little note and she also had an envelope where this and this was in and that's this one and Perhaps you can now also see why I have chosen those colors in the beginning. I mean, for the background. <laughs> that was not coinc uh, no coincidence, of course. And Barbara also um, had an envelope around this envelope. And that was this. I mean, <laughs> I've already used pieces of this for the other video. Um, but I think you can imagine how this was when she sent it. If not, watch the other video where I have um, opened it. And I thought we could do something here with this and make a journaling card for behind the belly band. And for this journaling card, I want to do something where Barbara was relatively surprised about. <laughs> when I had sent her, I guess that was for her birthday, a little package... I had taken an envelope to use that as the backing for a, a card I have made for her. So I want to take this. This is approximately uh, not big enough. <laughs> this is not big enough, but that doesn't matter. We make it work. I want to take this, bring that to the right size, and then just sew it to this envelope so, so that the envelope gets the base for the journaling card later and the funny thing about this is this was an envelope as well and you can still see here this shape of the envelope and the flap and you can see that it was an envelope and here you can see the same thing and at the same time and that's funny i think at the same time you can use this for journaling of course and you could use this as a tuck spot as well Barbara hasn't thought about what I want to do with this so well when she made this envelope. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course, because this color here doesn't really fit to this and to this and to this. It's a little terrible, even if the color is great. But let's see how we can make this work. We could either 
just glue this on there so that we only have this left but that looks that looks not so nice no 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 I don't like that I don't like that I want to put something on here which makes those colors a little bit more harmonious let's first take some distress oxide spray old paper I also like this regular rectangled look of this. Oh, do you know what we do? I really like this here. Perhaps we can take one of these book darts. I got them from Barbara as well. And from this little paper, I'm dreaming about some postage stamps at the moment. I have two postage stamp die cuts and these come from this set by Zizix and Tim Holtz. The number is 665927. Oh. <laughs> it's not perfect here, but I think it's okay. Oh look, <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> So I try to cut the bear out as well, trying to get Barbara's little heart that she made there. So then we have this and this. Here there's a straight edge, but who cares? These are junk journal stamps. I don't care about that. <laughs> and we don't waste anything, so I'm going to take this, take this, uh, cut this off so that I get whoop, another tiny postage stamp and this long one here. This is one of, of uh, Barbara's favorite stamps. <laughs> so that's what I, uh, why I want to use it. So I think we could add one here and then on the other one perhaps here so then I think we should add some postmarks is that the right word? So that this envelope looks a little bit more used. I have the Field Notes stamp set by Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz here. The number is CMS 396. And I'm thinking perhaps we should just randomly stamp. And since we have these stars on the bracelet, why don't we add some stamped stars here, a few here. And then I'm thinking about this piece. I want to make a little ruffle out of this to put it somewhere. <laughs> I'm thinking about this edge here, so perhaps we can tear this. I will go to my sewing machine and turn this into a ruffle. So then it looks like this. I think that is really cute. And I guess the best place to attach this would be here. And I just think here or here something is missing. So I went to my sewing machine again to make another ruffle from the same material. I'm just thinking it's a little bit too long. Perhaps we can put one of this here and perhaps even a third one to make like a little frame around the whole page. Why not? And I think this is done. Oh, <laughs> I like this. I really like how this turned out. So. 
let's put it back into the journal well this looks a little bit weird at the moment because this page isn't finished yet but i hope you can imagine how it looks when this page is in a journal and i'm really hoping that you could get some inspiration from this let me know what you think about this and please don't forget to check out barbara's video where show she show where she shows you another idea on today's prompt if you don't know her channel yet the link is down below in the description box and if you want to post your own defamoramba creations then you can use the hashtag defamoramba and in the description box you can of course also find additional information about defamoramba and also the links to all of the freebies that we share and our printables and so on so please make sure to check that out as well if you haven't done that yet. And if you want to see what we are going to do tomorrow, I always lose my prompt list in the end of the video. Where the heck is my prompt list? Here. So of course we can make a little cross here now. And tomorrow... We are going to have the prompt forgotten snacks. <laughs> we are going to have a snack tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. And if you want to know what I will create for this prompt, then make sure to turn on your YouTube tomorrow again to watch the video. And I wish you a very creative day. And I'm hoping that we are going to see tomorrow. Stay safe and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.